What's going on everyone? This is Kevin here, coming at you with my review of the Bold M3 smartphone. So without further ado, let's get started. Now I'd like to thank Bold for being kind enough for sending this out to me to cover here on the channel. Now if you're not familiar with the Bold brand, they're essentially a sub-brand under blue smartphones. And the idea is, is that with Bold, you're getting a very premium device with a lot of different features, but at a very affordable price. So with the Bold N3, we're actually getting an MSRP of just $299. However, at least initially, this phone is being offered at a $100 discount, so you can get it for just $199. Now I'm not sure how long this will be lasting for, but I will be linking the phone in the video description so you can see for yourself. But before I get too far into things here with the Bold N3, let's see what all comes included in the box. So here's the box, you can see right there the name of the phone. Then on the back of the box we have some specifications for the device. And then included inside is a Bold Like Us sticker. We're also getting a 66 watt USB wall adapter. Now I'll talk about this a little bit later on in the video, but this phone is compatible with 66 watt fast charging, which is really impressive. We're also getting a double-sided USB-C cable for charging and data transfer. We're getting USB-C headphones. We're also getting a quick start guide and also another guide here. And then finally, we are getting a clear plastic case. So while this case isn't anything too advanced, it still is really nice that it is included and installing it is very easy. So I'm gonna put it on the phone right now. And you can see the case is now on the phone. So it isn't anything too advanced, but it's certainly better than nothing. And we're also getting a SIM card removal tool. We're getting a very large 6.78 inch display. Now this display features AMOLED technology, so really excellent colors here, super bright and vibrant. And in addition to that, with it being AMOLED, we're also getting really good viewing angles. So this looks like a very expensive phone, even at first glance, but things do get even better. We're also getting curved glass on the display itself, so it's a nice premium feature as well. And then we're also getting a 120 hertz refresh rate. So a super smooth refresh rate here, and that definitely makes the phone feel very expensive. And that's typically a feature that you don't really find with phones in this particular segment. Now this display is 1080p, so certainly very crispy. And then we're also getting a PPI of 388 and a 20 by nine aspect ratio. So a more narrow but taller form factor here with the device. And then you probably noticed as well that we're getting very small bezels all throughout the front panel here. Then up top, we do have a 16 megapixel front facing camera, but stay tuned for later on in the video as we'll be showing you a bunch of different photo and video samples from all the various cameras on this device. But the value gets even better beyond that. We are getting 256 gigabytes of internal storage as well as micro SD card expansion. So getting that much internal space is really incredible. You typically don't find that with phones that are even $500. So the fact that we're getting that here with a device that is as affordable as this one really makes it even a bigger value. But if you do happen to find yourself filling up most of that internal space, you can always add in a micro SD card to offload photos and videos, for example, to free things up a bit. Now with the Bold N3, we do have an in-display fingerprint sensor and it works really well. So super fast and responsive, as you can see right there. I'm gonna try that again and you can see that works really well. And in addition to that, this phone also supports face unlock. So I do appreciate that we have multiple methods here for accessing the Bold N3. Now on the back of this device, we have a very interesting rear camera module. I really like the design of it, and overall I just like the whole look of the phone. I really like this material on the back. Even though it is made of plastic, it does have this nice glow to it, and based on the angle that you're looking at the phone, it does look different. But this big circular camera module is really cool looking, and it does feature a triple camera setup. So we're getting a 50 megapixel main camera, an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera, and a 2 megapixel macro camera for close up images. Now heading over to the camera app on the device, we have the standard photo mode. Then from there, you can actually switch over to the 50 megapixel mode. So by default, this phone doesn't actually capture images at the full 50 megapixels, despite having a 50 megapixel camera. And the reason for that is that 50 megapixel photos do tend to take up a lot of extra space and most people don't necessarily need that. So I'm glad at least that we do have the feature here and there is a dedicated mode for it. But heading back over to the standard photo mode, we can also crop out a little bit and head over to the ultra wide mode. You can see right there, 0.6X. And then with ultra wide, we're able to fit a lot more content into a single frame with that camera. Now, I tend to find myself using the ultra wide camera, especially when I'm on vacation. And I certainly don't think it's a gimmicky feature. 
If I'm sightseeing, for example, and I want to fit a lot of my surroundings in a single photo, it can certainly come in handy. We can also head over to portrait mode and get those nice blurred out backgrounds. We can also flip around to the front facing camera, and take portrait selfies. So there's me right there. And then there's also an option for standard selfies as well. Then heading over to the more tab here, there is an option for macro. And with macro, you can get there close up and have things be in really good detail. Then heading over to video mode, there's a lot of different resolutions available here. So I'll show you what your options are. But essentially, you can go up here to video quality. I have it set to 4K right now, but there's 4K, 2K. You can also do 1080p and even 720p. So it is really cool to see that there is 4K video recording with this device. But then flipping around to the front facing camera, we can also take a look at the various video resolutions available here. You can see there's choices of 1080p, 720p, and then also 480p. But let's now take a look at some camera samples from the Bold N3. Now for the most part, I'll let these camera samples speak for themselves. You can see for yourself what the quality actually looks like. But overall, my take on it is that I'm very impressed with the camera quality that we're getting here on the Bold N3. You especially need to consider how affordable this phone is, and for the quality level that we're getting here, I would expect that from a much more expensive smartphone. And definitely, if you're someone who likes to capture photos when you're on vacation, for example, and you want them to look good enough to post on social media, or maybe you're attending a family get-together or something like that, the quality from the various cameras on this device is certainly going to be plenty good for that purpose, and you'll be able to post your content on social media and be proud of the quality. So, I know that's important for a lot of people out there, and just know that if you are considering the Bold N3, the cameras shouldn't be something that make you nervous because the quality here is really good. Even when taking selfies, I'm really impressed, and using portrait mode does give a really nice blur effect. So overall, I really don't have anything bad to say about the various cameras on this device, and they really do exceed my expectations. What's going on everyone? This is Kevin here, coming at you with a 1080p front facing test video from the Bold N3. Definitely curious to know what you think about the video and audio quality. And here's a 4K test video using the main rear camera on the Bold N3. Now keep in mind that with this device, you cannot capture video using the ultra wide camera. So you are limited to capturing video with the main camera. But here's the results from that. And we do have very fast autofocus in video mode, which is great. Now internally here with the Bold N3, we're getting 8GB of RAM paired up with the MediaTek Dimensity 7050 processor. Now the first thing is, getting that level of RAM is a really generous amount. That will definitely help when it comes to multitasking on the phone and really doing anything that allows for a smooth experience. But in addition to that too, the processor here from MediaTek is also a really good one. I like that we're getting 5G support with that processor, so you will be able to connect to your carrier's latest and greatest 5G network. And then when it comes to general performance too, things run very smoothly here. The device has no problem keeping up and even powering that 120 hertz refresh rate display, things work really well. So if you are someone who's a little bit disappointed with your current device getting a bit slow and you want something a bit faster, I think you will be impressed here with the Bold N3 or at least happy with your purchase. Now if you are someone who's maybe more of a smartphone power user, maybe you're constantly on your phone, maybe it's a big part of your business, then if you're going to use your smartphone that much, you might be able to justify spending a bit more money. But again, for most people out there, I feel like this phone certainly will be adequate when it comes to performance. Now I did run a benchmark test using Geekbench 6, and what I recommend doing is running this test on your current phone, and then compare your scores to these scores to get a better idea of how the Bold N3 compares to the current device that you have. But I did get a single core score of 970 and a multi-core score of 2461. So between my personal experience and these scores, I would definitely say this device performs really well for a phone in this particular segment. And I certainly think that, at least in this regard, it is also a really good value. Now the software here that we're getting with the Bold N3 is Android 13. And for the most part, it is a very stock experience. However, there have been some modifications added to the software 
to add in some extra bonus features and make things even a bit better. Now very shortly, I will be releasing a dedicated tips and tricks video for the Bold N3, so definitely make sure to check out that video to learn more about all the various software capabilities that this device does offer. Another nice thing too with the Bold N3 is that we are getting NFC. So if you do like to use your device for tap and pay to make mobile contactless payments using services such as Google Pay, for example, then you can do that here with the Bold N3, which is really nice. I know for me especially, I do find myself using my phone to make mobile payments more often than not, especially since many payment terminals at this point do support NFC payments. But now that I've gone over a variety of different specifications and features for the Bold N3, let's take a closer look at the hardware here of the phone. So as I mentioned earlier on in the video, we're getting almost a near full display here on the front panel. Very small bezels, which is excellent to see. The phone looks and feels very premium. The display panel itself gets super bright as you can tell, and things really look excellent here. So this phone is especially great for going on social media or watching video content, just because colors really do pop so much on this really large 6.78 inch canvas. But take a look at the left side of the device, we have nothing. Then on the right side we have volume up, volume down, and then also the power button here. Then up top here we have the noise canceling microphone. And then on the bottom of the phone, we have the slot for the micro SD card and SIM card, microphone, USB-C port for charging and data transfer, and we have the speaker. Then on the back of the phone, we have that triple camera setup with the flash, and then also we have bold branding down below here. And then also we have this kind of cool texture on the back of the phone, which doesn't really pick up too many fingerprints. So overall, I think this is a very stylish device from the company, and I really wasn't even expecting it to be this nice. I have covered other devices in the Bold lineup in the past. I've covered the Bold N2, for example. I also covered the original Bold phone, the Bold N1. So both of those were really good, but I feel like this one makes that series even better here. And it's a very worthy successor to last year's Bold N2. The whole process took less than 10 minutes. Now, in addition to the scooter itself, we are getting several items included. Now, as I mentioned earlier on in the video, because of the large display and because of how great it looks, the Bold N3 is an excellent phone for watching video content, and that really is the case here. It's a great looking display, good viewing angles, great colors too, so if you are someone that watches a lot of media on your device, I think you'll be very happy with the display that we're getting here. Now one downside though with this phone is that there is no stereo audio, so we are getting audio out of just the main speaker on the bottom of the phone, which does get decently loud, but some other devices, maybe that are a bit more expensive than this one, do tend to have speakers also in the earpiece, so for example, on the iPhone, if you're watching video content or listening to music, you are going to be getting audio out of both the main speaker and earpiece, whereas in this situation, we're just getting it with the main speaker on the bottom. But that's not a bad compromise at all, and also certainly something that I would kind of expect to be the case for a phone in this very affordable segment. But in conclusion, I'm very impressed with the Bold N3. This phone really does deliver a lot of value for being an affordable smartphone. This device really doesn't have too many compromises, and... A lot of the features that we're getting here are features that you'd find with much more expensive smartphones. But I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you liked it, definitely give it a thumbs up. Stay tuned for future content about the Bold N3. But this is Kevin here, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and have a great rest of your day.